The US-based GPS satellite constellation is aging, but could agriculture be in danger of losing one of its most valuable efficiency tools? Omnistar's John Poynton explains, while a catastrophe is not likely, there is a slight chance that the GPS signal could be compromised sometime in the next few years, especially with receivers that are not GLONASS ready. Poynton puts things in perspective in a recent interview. Right, so there, there is a statistical risk that we will have a shortage of GPS satellites in the relatively near future. Uh, it's not certain, and so you don't want to do a chicken little and run around saying the sky is falling, because all being well, there won't be a problem. But many of the GPS satellites are reaching the end of their useful life. In fact, many of them have gone, already gone beyond the end of their useful life. They've proven to be extremely reliable satellites, which is good. But there are several of them that are down to their last clock. Uh, they were launched with three clocks, I believe it is, and one operational, two spare, and over a period of time, those have died. And so if the final clock goes, the satellite's useless. It's no longer a GPS satellite. So there is no doubt over the next few years these will start failing. Uh, but we, there is a program in place to launch replacements. And some replacements have been launched continuously over the last few years, but that's running a little bit late now. All being well, there shouldn't be a problem, but there's been a statistical analysis done by the GAO, General Accounting Office, and they basically have said there's a 20% chance that over the next 18 to 36 months, uh, we could lose satellites such that there will be no GPS availability for short periods of time during the day. Uh, well, you know, no satellite short periods of time during the day, that's not too bad, but it means you haven't got 24-hour reliability, and 20% chances is not that bad either. So all being well, it won't be a problem, but we need to be aware of the fact that it could be a problem. And a bigger problem would be, and we don't know this, if the launch schedule when the new satellites gets delayed, then three or four years in the future, it could become a lot more serious. Now again, launch, it's possible launch schedules will, will be delayed, but if that happens, I think people are going to start jumping up and down, and more money and effort will be put into it, so there'll be a catch-up, because I don't think anybody wants it to get that catastrophic. But I think everybody should be aware that there's a, there's a period of time coming up when the GPS satellite availability is going to be less certain than it has been for the last few years. Uh, there's not much one can do about that. The good news is that the GLONASS system, the Russian system, is coming online. It's getting pretty reliable. They've got 16 satellites, I think it is operational now, and they're planning to launch another six this year. So within the next year or so, they'll have a full constellation of operational satellites. And most of the GPS manufacturers are now uh, manufacturing dual constellation receivers, use GPS and the GLONASS. And the good news is that if you get one of those, then you don't have a problem. If, if we go below, below the optimum or sufficient number of GPS, then GLONASS will carry it through. So uh, what I would recommend going forward, and it's probably, you would do it anyway, is that as you upgrade your equipment and buy your new receivers, you, you look at incorporating GLONASS capability, and then you don't have to worry about the uh, possible failure of GPS. Sequence. For PrecisionAg.com, this is Paul Shrimp.